No, sorry. Knock it off. Little Billy, I swear, I do, do not make me, don't make me come over there. Have you figured out what I'm doing, folks? They're all conditioned punishers. Some of you are going, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> right? Well, those are you that have experienced those conditioned punishers, right? Um, shaking my finger at you, telling you no, without screaming at you, right? So if I go, no, if I scream at you, you have the word no. Plus you have that loudness, but the loudness is not a conditioned punisher. The word itself, the word no, is probably a conditioned punisher for a lot of people. Um, you tell the kiddos, no, Avery, knock it off. That's a conditioned punisher, right? You want her to stop whatever she is doing um, to reduce the particular behavior. But um, it's conditioned because you had to learn what that meant. Right? So it's not a reflexive. Saying the word no. Um, so it's say, as an example, if you want to find out if something's a conditioned punisher, if your words are conditioned punisher or an unconditioned punisher, which they're never unconditioned punishers, but to prove my point, tell your kids to stop it in a different language. And they won't. <laughs> Why? Because they haven't been conditioned. Your tone might be a whole different issue. And you're like, <laughs> right? You could, you, could do, <laughs> you could do something like, and we often do that around my house. <laughs> I have no idea. I just lose so many words. So my kids know that when I'm mumbling, they're probably in trouble. Um, so they've been conditioned and it's now a punisher, right? So conditioned punisher. Shaking your finger, conditioned punisher. Um, that's not a conditioned punisher. The pain itself is unconditioned. Anyway, so that's all there is to it. Trying to reduce the behavior through some particular stimulus that they had to have a learning history for in order to understand what it means.